is our defined posting rule option in the previous step we have created the posting rule right so for the posting rule we are, for the posting keys we are going to define the posting rule so our first posting rule is the y 100 so y 100 this is for the outgoing payments okay so just a minute guys Okay, so first one I'm giving the posting rule is the outgoing posting rule Y100 posting area. So we have two types of posting area. One is a bank account. The second one is a sub ledger account. So different different times we have to use a different different uh, posting area. So here first you can see here. Here I'm taking the bank account. So I will tell you one simple scenario here. why i am taking the bank account me suppose we are we are creating the posting rule for the outgoing payment okay so if it is an outgoing payment me so you can first we have to check with the entry so just check the outgoing entry outgoing payment entry is the so outgoing account dr2 main bank okay so you can see here in the debit or credit you cannot see any customer uh, customer or vendor vendor details i mean there is no customer no no customer no vendor in debit side or credit side that time we have to take the account posting area is a one okay suppose in your ledger when you were doing any kind of the transaction if the debit or credit if there is any customer or any kind of the vendor transact vendor is there that time we have to take the sub, sub ledger okay if debit or credit is is equal to customer or vendor then we have to choose the sub ledger or else we have to choose the bank suppose if you come to that uh, incoming incoming transaction so it will come the main bank account here to customer so here you can see here there is a customer is there so in this scenario we are going to choose the sub ledger we, ha we have to choose the one sorry sorry two okay so in this case so i am going to choose the one because so there is no customer or no no customer or no vendor okay so what is the entry outgoing bank account dr to main bank so outgoing bank is the you can see here outgoing bank is a debit and main bank is a credit whenever you have to do the payment outgoing outgoing is a debit and uh, main bank is a credit so based on that we have to give the account symbol so first we have to you the main bank is a 50 main bank is a credit so here account symbol we have to give the main bank account symbol so y triple zero is a main bank y100 is outgoing y200 is incoming already these three we have created in the first one first level first step create account symbol so here based on our entry we have to pass the transactions it means when you are doing the vendor payment so outgoing account outgoing bank account g outgoing bank account dr to main bank account so we are doing the payment so main bank is a credit so that's why here i have taken the account symbol in the credit main bank in the credit side so here we have to take the outgoing bank why 100 okay so outgoing bank account dr to main bank these these two things we have to select here so the next one is the here we are doing the payment so directly you can take the clearing payment so kz i am taking here next one is a posting type posting type means how you want to what kind of the thing you want to clear here so here i am going to clear the debit gl account clear the debit gl account means here 
I have some data. I have some balance. Uh, I'm doing the payment from the outgoing, outgoing. Okay, so automatically, what we have to do, we are going to move. We are going to clear the outgoing GL balances. It means I have main bank outgoing incoming now i'm going to clear i'm going to clear the outgoing balance outgoing balance gl amount i will move the data to the main bank okay so that's why here we are going to select the clear the gl clear the outgoing bank gl debit gl so i have selected the clear debit gl account okay so this this much information is enough here document type and posting type so fill this information then click on the save option So why 100 is completed? This is for the outgoing. So we have one more thing is here, that is for the incoming. Why 200? Posting area, already we have discussed there. Here we are going to select the sub lecture. So now in this scenario, so automatically here, our main bank will be debit and incoming will be the credit here. So here we have to select 40 debit is a main bank is a debit y double zero main bank so account symbol this is a y 200 main bank account here to incoming gl okay so next one is a document type this is a customer payment dj here you can choose a clear credit credit gl so credit gl is the customer incoming so you can see here right incoming incoming gl we are going to clear this one we are going to move the data to the main bank so i have selected the clear the credit gl in the previous scenario where we, we have selected the outgoing clear the debit gl here we have selected the clear the credit gl so after filling this one click on the save option Sorry, here triple zero. Okay, fine. So along same like this, if you have any other posting rules are there, suppose for the bank charges, if we want to add bank charges also same process only. Here we have to, we have to, so first we have to pass the, we have to check the entry. Based on that entry, we have to give what is a debit, debit account symbol, credit account symbol. For the bank charges, bank charges are the debit and the main bank is a credit so here we are going to give the bank charges symbol and here we have to give the main bank symbol here we are going to set the document type as a sa so like this you can add bank charges interest like this we can add all the things after after preparation of the posting those the next next step we have to do the create transaction types here Just a minute. Okay, so just double click on the create transaction types. So create transaction type. We'll do it this in MT940 also directly. So first one, we check this MT940. So MT940 is there. So just select this MT940. Next, assign external transaction types. New entries. So here, assign external transaction type means in our bank statement. Once if you download the bank statement from the bank, so you can get couple of transactions. You can get debit transactions, credit transactions. It means you, we will get positive values and the negative values. So, yeah. 
we have different different transactions types are there ntrf is a standard transaction type this transaction type we are going to use for the debit values or credit values like our positive values and negative values so it means whenever if you receive the amount from the customer that amount automatically it will add to your main bank if you done any payments to the vendor automatically that amount will be reduced from our bank uh, from the main bank at the same time if you have any interest charges bank charges coming any additional charge automatically that amount also will be reduced from the main bank so for that purpose what we have to do so first we have to assign the code so okay how many positive values i mean for the positive what are the positive values what are the negative values in your gls in our gl incoming all incoming transactions incoming transactions are positive and outgoing outgoing means vendor payments all vendor payments are the negative it means suppose i have 5000 bank balance so incoming means i have 1000 rupees received automatically it will add this balance to the main bank now your balance is the 6000 outgoing means so outgoing balance is a 500 rupees automatically outgoing payments will be reduced from the main bank okay so it means so here plus and minus both two are there so uh, so here we, we have to assign our gls what is your income gls means the account keys okay so what is your incoming account key and what is the outgoing so our outgoing is a y100 and incoming is a y200 so these kind of the things we are going to assign here okay so so external transaction type first let me check this So already NTRF, NTRF is there. So NTRF positive is there. NTRF positive is uh, assigned to that other GL. Let me remove this. So positive means this is the incoming GL. So our incoming key is a Y200. Negative means this is the outgoing. Our outgoing key is a Y100. Okay, the next one is a interpretation algorithm. Algorithm is a, our next topic. So how you are going to clear the transactions uh, for that uh, incomings for that incomings we are going to clear with the reference document number so for that for that outgoing we are going to clear with the document number okay so i have selected let it be 21 and 20 so click on the save option so data was saved now this part is completed assign external transaction so what is the use of this process may here in our bank bal in our bank statement we can see couple of payments are the positive payments and negative payments in this step we are going to we are going to configure the system y200 mean the whenever you have received the amount with the incoming it means it has to add to the bank main bank whenever if you get the transaction with y100 it is a negative it means we have to we have to reduce this amount from the bank balance how system will identify so whether it is a positive value or negative value with the help of the algorithm okay so next we will discuss about the algorithm so this part is done so the next one is a assign bank accounts to the transaction type double click on the assign bank accounts to the transaction type click on the new entry here we are going to assign what is your bank key bank account and transaction type so for this purpose you go to your house bank Okay, already is open here so this is my s bank house bank this is my house bank okay let me check my bank account number this is my bank account number s bank account number bank key is there copy the bank key also so bank key means this one bank key next one is a transactional type transactional type is a default mt940 
we are using the standard format MT940. Click on the save. Okay, so this process is completed. Okay, so all these transactions, all these configurations we have done in OT83. Create account symbols, everything we have done in the OT83. So this is a second process. Is it? Let me open the notes first. Okay, so first we have created the GL, next we have created the house bank. After that, we have created the posting keys, posting rules, then we have assigned the posting keys and posting rules. The final one is that we have assigned the transaction types. 